Jordan Smash here, and you might be wondering, why am I dressed like Pikachu snowboarding in Colorado? Well, the answer is, I don't have a good reason. Anyways, today we're going to talk about the Season 4 Flatline Reactive Battle Pass recolor, which you'll finally be able to unlock. And we're going to go over the Season 9 one as well, and also some details about the Valkyrie and Free skin. We're also going to go ahead and give out the Octane Prestige skin. All you guys got to do is like, comment, and subscribe you guys the drill. Without further ado, let's talk about the new update. So this week will be the end of the breakout challenges that were going on in season 20, and this week will feature Valkyrie. You'll be able to get this skin right here along with a unique sticker. Don't forget, if you haven't already, you're gonna need to gift some of the other skins that were given away this season, such as the Loba and the Mad Maggie that you're gonna be seeing on screen right now. You can also do the Seer, Rampart, and Fuse. You can do any order, you just gotta make sure you gift out six of them. That is if gifting works for you. Now, Valkyrie will have a set of challenges this week that you will have to complete. Hopefully, they actually cut it down so that we don't have to do like 30 or 40 ring closings, knowing Respawn and how they keep ramping them up. I wouldn't be surprised, but let's hope. Don't forget that also to unlock this, you will also need to reach level 60 on the Battle Pass if you haven't already done so. And you will have to complete all six sets of Breakout Legend challenges for both Seer, Rampart, Fuse, Mad Maggie, Valkyrie, and Loba before this thing becomes unlocked. You can actually see the Flatline Reactive Recolor right here. It is probably one of the coolest things that they've actually done to give us for free in this game and the challenges were a great idea. Not to mention that by doing this, you will also get a free Legendary Wraith skin and a free set of Legendary Wraith trackers and banner frames. Honestly, hats off to Respawn for actually giving us a ton of free content. That being said, there are some issues with it. Earlier this month, all the progress was reset for both Rampart, Seer, and Fuse on the challenge rewards. On April 11th, they rolled out an update to fix the issue causing the Breakout Legend challenges to lose progress, and I know a lot of you were impacted by that. Even though that they fixed it and they said that they did an update for it, it still had a lot of issues with it, and so on April 19th, just two or three days ago, they actually put out another update to fix it once again to restore progress for players for Seer, Fuse, and Rampart. Now, I don't know if it's actually fixed it for everyone, but I haven't seen as many issues, so let's hope that it is actually working and that you'll be able to unlock this when it releases on Tuesday day because it is a very cool cosmetic now there is some important stuff to know other than just the flatline reactive skin because the next season's reactive recolor that is coming is going to be the r99 skin the one from season seven called ascension and i actually went ahead and put it out on twitter and it is going to be a purple and gold theme a couple days later this was followed up by hypermiss saying that the season seven reactive r99 will also be getting a recolor which just basically confirmed my information now this is absolutely fantastic but there is a little cause for concern because they might be going in a different route than this season with the free idea which i still think was probably one of the best things they could have done because oz let us know a while ago that there was a new type of battle pass being discussed independent from the regular one no time limit for completion level 100 and 110 reactors would be recolors of old ones has its own challenges you can still buy level cost way more than usual now most of this actually made it into the battle pass challenges slash breakout that we're doing right now so it makes sense that this is what he was talking about however Brow window let us know that there is a new type of item coming to the game, or at least a new type of currency called Exotic Shards, and it's used to purchase the brand new artifact heirlooms, the universal ones that are customizable, and also reactive weapon skins. You'll be able to get them from regular Apex packs and also be able to buy with real money. And this is actually very concerning. As you can see, the exotic shards here are a green type of currency along with the crafting materials, legend token, heirloom shards, and apex coins. I don't necessarily know that we needed more types of money to be spent on the game, but the challenges that you can see here and the rewards as well that Hypermiss posted was a fantastic idea for us to play the game and give us something to grind for in game. And if they go ahead and change the reactives from past battle passes to things that we now have to buy, that would actually, in my opinion, be a pretty horrible idea and kind of sour the whole thing. The challenges are incredibly fun, gives us a reason to play other characters, try out new things in the meta, and also rewards us for playing the game on a regular basis. To then lock it behind a new type of currency that we have to spend money on, well, I mean, it makes sense because it's EA, but I just, I, I think it's such a bad, horrible idea. Not to mention that gifting is still having issues in the game, if you guys haven't noticed. This seems to be impacting all different types of platforms, and so if they decide, oh, well, gifting isn't working, so now you're gonna have to buy it, that would be an issue. Now, my hope is that it's only for certain reactives because the Havoc has actually popped back up thanks to someone who posted it on Apex Uncovered, and this was one that was actually data mined back in season one. It's now back in the file, so it would be interesting if the shards slash artifact currency is going to be used for different types of recolors and we still get seasonal ones that we can grind for in game which i think would be a totally great idea we'll have to wait and see 
what they decide to do with the R99 Ascension one along with the Havoc one and what season 21 has in store for us. But at least we are finally able to finish out the breakout challenges for the Flatline Reactive Skin, which arguably is probably the most sought after one. Not to mention there was some new news, by the way, the other day. It does seem Pathfinder's Prestige Skin is next, which is a welcome surprise. We do know that Lifeline is after that. She's been rumored that getting hers in Season 22 or 23 when she gets the Lifeline Reborn. So we always knew we weren't going to get hers next, but we finally have an idea that it is going to be Pathfinder thanks to Kral Rindo. Let me know down below, are you guys excited for the upcoming Flatline Reactive Skin and finally being able to use it? How do you feel about the Season 7 Reactive R99 coming next season? And as always, don't forget to check out the video in the top left corner by my editor, Novell. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.